4 a.m. right now. Ready to rock. That's just how we do. We wake up. We're ready to go. We're ready to get after it. Nothing about it. Let's get it. So there are two main benefits to getting up so early. Right now it's currently 4.54. Um, and the first benefit that I really want to talk about, going for the next four to five to six hours sometimes, I could go my whole morning without having a single distraction. Nobody texting me, nobody up roaming the halls, no added noises or distractions, and also no notifications or anything distracting me. So waking up at 4 a.m. really allows me to sink in, get focused, uh, and dive fully into the work ahead. Go to the gym, have a focused workout, do my morning work, have focused work, and all other things that I'm getting into. Distraction free. The second thing, one of the better benefits, is that you are able to have better sleep. When you have a more consistent wake up time, you eliminate that that unknown factor. Some people wake up at 10, then the next day they wake up at 7, then the next time they wake up at whatever time. And they also probably follow inconsistent bedtimes. So by waking up at 4 a.m., you kind of set that standard for yourself. What it allows you to be more focused when you get up as your body starts to dial in. A lot of those people that are waking up at inconsistent times might deal with more brain fog uh, and less focused work. So these are definitely two of the more important things with getting up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. I don't want to continue to whisper here, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to finish up some deep work here. We're going to go work out. I'll check back in with you guys. what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button as it shows your support for this channel and my vision so the third thing that i want to dive into just crushed a workout uh, and this also ties in with the first benefit of waking up early is having time to yourself you're the most important person throughout your entire day the operator the ceo of your decisions whatever it is that you're taking on every day you are the most important you need to make sure that you have your mind you know your body operating all that stuff aligned with what you are trying to get after so by waking up early it gives you a lot of time to yourself to think to plan, to build, to strategize, whatever you want to call it, uh, gives you that time to be alone, to really develop your skills, uh, to really dive into whatever it is that you're working on. So by having this alone time, right, when the day gets started, you have work, you have priorities, you have family, you have school, you have all these different things that you are trying to take care of uh, and that are consuming your mind, right? So by waking up early, whatever your prioritize is, you're able to really focus up and make sure that you're getting that stuff completed. So for myself, you know, if I was just working a job, now I was able to go to the gym beforehand, right? Because as the day progresses, as these things continue to pop up in our day, obstacles, barriers challenges again whatever you want to call it whatever is taking place in your life we tend to come home from work we tend to come home from school we're tired we're overwhelmed and we don't want to do the things that are important to us so for myself right now for the goals that I have for 2022 working out and my health is super important uh, so being able to have this extra time before anybody else is up or before a majority of people are up in the world uh, I'm able to conquer that workout still come home shower up what you're about to do and then dive right back into work so let's get into it. Let's get back to work. All right, everybody. So we are getting ready to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed everything that we've talked about so far. 
Uh, I want to go over kind of a little reflection and also some closing points. But before we get there, I want to review the main three points that we've talked about so far. So the first one that we discussed was the distraction free time, right? So if you wake up at four o'clock in the morning, you possibly have three, four, five, or even six hours, you know, getting up till 10 a.m., allowing you to go distraction free, right? Less notifications popping up, uh, less noises in your house, your work environment, uh, and ultimately really being able to focus and dial in. The second thing that we talked about uh, was less brain fog, right? Being able to go to bed at the same exact time every single night, as that will help us be able to wake up at the same time every single morning. We're going to be able to wake up a lot better, a lot more, you know, fresh, more energy. Uh, and it's going to really help us, you know, again, go along with that productivity side uh, and allow us to focus up even more. The third point that we talked about is our alone time. Being able to you know, operate as who we are and who we want to be is so important. Having that time to ourselves uh, to you know, have a peaceful morning is going to really help you out in the long run, right? Once the day gets started, whether you work a full-time job, whether you're going to school uh, overwhelmed with tests, exams, assignments that are due, working you know, a business or at your job, again, like I had mentioned, right? You have other things that are needed, right? You got to bring in um, and hit all your, you know, key performance metrics that you're trying to reach every single day. And uh, it's super, super, you know, important that we're able to do everything we can to make those times a little less stressful. And it's also going to lead us into our fourth point, uh, but still staying on the third point, right? Having that morning to yourself to really prioritize your goals. For myself, working out, like I mentioned, is a big factor of this year. Uh, one of the main things that I want to prioritize. So for me to be able to wake up early, knock that out before, you know, 90% of, you know, the East Coast might be up or even, you know, the country, it really allows me to get that out and still have a productive day, knocking out every single thing that I'm setting out for. But like I said, leaning into the fourth point, and then we're going to get into, you know, some of the negatives of waking up early uh, or some things that you should consider. But getting to the fourth point and just one of the, you know, more simple ideas behind it is related to stress, right? So, a lot of times and you know studies are showing you know when you get up early a lot less stress is involved you're feeling better uh, you know and that energy is there like we've already talked about and I don't want to you know keep saying that but I think the people that are kind of you know on that autopilot and this might be you and there's nothing wrong with that maybe that's all you know but being on that autopilot of hey I need to be in at work at you know nine o'clock so you get up at 8 30 8 45 depending on how far work is maybe eight o'clock Next thing you know, whether you shower in the morning or don't, you're quickly showering, you're quickly getting ready, you're not eating breakfast, which could affect, you know, and roll into the rest of your day. But by simply getting up early, which might be, you know, a negative in the beginning, right? Because it's not an easy thing to do. If you currently get up at nine and <clears throat> to go from nine to 6 a.m., that's a tough task to take on. Uh, but the whole idea behind this is, Hey, if you're able to get up early, really to prioritize yourself, not even goals, but just yourself, taking care of yourself, making sure that you have enough time to get dressed, making sure you have enough time to, you know, stay organized, have all your work stuff ready, have all your business stuff ready, have all your, you know, school assignments in line or your papers that need to be, you know, worked on or handed in, right? Having all that stuff organized uh, can really be a main benefit of getting up early um, and prioritizing that time for yourself. This way you're not running around and rushing for whatever it is that you need to get out the door, right? But one thing I want to mention, and one of the key points to really think about, uh, and I've actually talked to some people about this, is yes, I get up, you know, currently at 4 a.m. Are days tough to get up? Yes, right? So if I get up, you know, at 5 or 7 even if I get up at those times, I'll still be able to hit every single thing I do, right? So why would I get up at 4 a.m.? It's just something that, you know, I've not fallen in love with, you know, yet, but something I've really enjoyed, you know, just having that time, again, extra time for myself in the morning. And uh, I think the main thing to go with that point is if you don't have anything you're working on, if you don't have any specific goals that maybe you want to take care of before work or before starting your day, getting up early might not be the best thing for you, right? So I think a lot of times, and that's why people might not stick with it is, 
hey, I'm going to get up this early. They try it, but they don't mark out what they're going to be doing when they get up, right? So they set their alarm for 5 a.m. They try to get up. They're sitting in their chair. They're sitting downstairs, whatever it might be, you know, uh, and they're trying to figure out, hey, what am I supposed to do with my time, right? So obviously it's not going to last very long for yourself if you're not sure of what you should be doing with that time. Uh, so I think that's definitely one of the things to consider is, hey, do you do you have to do anything, right? Because you getting up early is not going to set you up in a good situation if there's nothing to do. And it actually might even make you more tired that way if you don't use it to your advantage. Uh, so that's one of the main things that I wanted to bring up. But, uh, you know, my overall opinion, hey, is it worth it? Absolutely for myself, absolutely for what I am trying to do. Uh, and for yourself, I definitely think you should, you know, consider being a morning person if you're not already a morning person. And again, it doesn't mean, hey, I got to go from waking up at noon to 4 a.m. No, it doesn't need to be that. Your journey right now could be, hey, let me get up at 8 a.m., let me get up at 9 a.m. Don't think you need to go from, you know, zero set alarm to now the most extreme, right? That's just not going to be sustainable. So set something out that is achievable for yourself. Keep striving, keep working, and keep growing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you guys on my next one. Chat soon. Be sure to comment down below and also hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Peace.